I used a bad choice of words when I said the word worthless. Sometimes our emotions take over to me, and I probably should not have said a worthless piece of property. What I should have said is an undervalued piece of property compared to what I feel that the state is going to pay. I might as well put this out there right now. I strongly feel that the state already owns millions of acres of property that we are not taking care of and we are not maintaining at the present time. We are talking about privatizing our state parks and other things simply because we cannot afford the maintenance and the upkeep. And for us to spend $17 million of taxpayers' dollars to buy another piece of property when we already have property out there that the state owns and operates right now and we can replace a facility there is the, is the reason why that I'm against that. But I used a bad choice of words. I should have never said worthless piece of property because it is a beautiful piece of property. It's the anger that sometimes overtakes and the tongue speaks before the mind starts working. For that, I apologize. Uh, what is the what is the piece of property? It is a piece of property that is located down in Hardeman County that they're looking at for a for a new 4-H camp. For that, I'm finished. Thanks. So a comment was made on the floor this morning regarding a, a $17 million piece of worthless property, and uh, unfortunately. Uh, it's not worthless and it's not $17 million, so there's a couple of things there that are uh, a fallacy. Um, I think what's interesting to note is that the gentleman's agreement was struck between myself, Bill Sanderson, Curtis Halford, Tim Wergo, Johnny Shaw, and others that were involved, Steve McDaniel, in this process. Uh, what we knew and what we realized is that uh, UT and other interested groups uh, were very interested in bringing a 4-H camp into West Tennessee. Several of us in the legislature uh, over that area had different sites that we thought would be uh, good for this 4-H camp to be located. And uh, Representative Wargo had one particular uh, site in Henry County. It was an old Girl Scout camp uh, called Camp Hazelwood. And we all made this agreement with one another that ultimately the most important thing wasn't that it came to our individual districts, but that it came to West Tennessee and that we were mutually supportive no matter where the camp landed. Uh, unfortunately, Tim hasn't kept his end of that bargain. And uh, I feel like there'd probably be a very different statement made in there today uh, were it Camp Hazelwood selected as the site for this camp. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Ultimately, what's most important is that we have to realize that this camp is extremely important to a lot of folks who are involved in 4-H all across the state, specifically to those 4-Hers who are in uh, West Tennessee. I owe, I think, probably the vast majority of my of my time in Nashville serving as a, as a representative to my experience in 4-H. Uh, I learned how to do a lot of things at 4-H camp. I learned how to shoot a gun. I learned how to shoot a bow and arrow. I learned the parliamentary procedure. I learned lots of different things. and, and for us uh, to negate that opportunity with selfish comments on the floor of the House, I think is uh, foolish, and I think it's also, uh, uh, it impugns the character of those folks who selected that site, and I'll have comments about that group of folks who selected that site on Monday, because I think he offended a lot of people uh, when he made those statements. He offended me, and he offended Johnny Shaw. He offended, I think, all the folks uh, that have dealt with this process, and, and I'm not talking about a process that just took a day or two. I'm talking about months of preparation, months of work that went into this process, uh, and uh, it was thoroughly offensive to me what he said on the floor.